When the old Liverpool to Manchester opened up a century and a quarter ago, it took only 90 minutes to go 31 miles. But that was in the days before schedules got around and engine 57 was in her prime. They even gave them curtains in those far off days and baskets for the flowers they picked. But though sound in wind and limb, engine 57, the Thunderbolt, is a ghost train as she steams along the track. She is on the Limpley Stoke Camerton line, which has been closed for two long years. You know, there's something queer about the driver. That signal, it's at stop. If we don't go off the rails, we'll end round the bend. Got the situation in focus now. Yes, it's a camera crew, and I'll bet a ton of coal to a pint of hair restorer. What they'll want next is a retake. They brought engine 57 out of retirement to play the lead in a new British comedy, the story of a village which takes over its local line after British Railways declare it redundant. And does she like the limelight? The camera crew find her as full of fire as an ageing film star. It'll take all Sir Michael Balkan's ingenuity to stop her stealing the show from Norton Wayne and Stanley Holloway. Basking in her reflected glory is Ted Burridge, crack express driver, called in to show George Ralph and Godfrey Turl, her film crew, how not to blow her up. But with such a crew, it'll take the continuity girl all her time to keep track of that wily old water butt on wheels, the Titfield Thunderbolt. 